Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tips with Tea with me, Giselle Turi. Last Tuesday I had talked about uh, keeping the foundation strong and for those of you who may have missed that it's about um, taking the proper care needed for yourself so that you're feeling well, you're strong enough, you're confident enough to move forward into any projects or possibly um, some time that you want to spend with a loved one and uh, really it's about quality of life basically so the foundation is you you your body how you take care of it and uh, and then you can just move forward in a much bigger better way uh, just to kind of hesitate a little bit if y'all are wondering what this thing is in my hair this is a from the mimosa tree from uh, from a neighbor and it just smells sweet so I like flowers so that's what that is I'm not growing weird things out of my head okay <laughs> anyway so I wanted to elaborate a little bit more on that and the reason why is because as a vibrant living coach whenever I'm talking to people about health and wellness and things they can do um, in order to reach their goals and feeling better in their body and living a better quality of life things come up and there's um, objections that come up as to why they can't proceed uh, in the initial a consultation with me it's like they're all excited they're ready to move forward they're just not feeling their best in their body and they're really searching for something to make a difference in their life and help them feel better and so um, as we progress in the discussion then the objections come up as far as when it's time to move forward and actually taking some kind of action you know whatever that is um, you know depending on the person I give them individualized um, you know suggestions because everyone's so different and when it comes to that point though it's like things start coming up these walls start coming up and the more I've looked at that the more I realize that it's about um, not valuing yourself enough to set your your um, health and your well-being as your priority and that all goes back to the foundation being strong so if you don't value yourself enough or you feel that you're not worthy then you have a very shaky foundation and especially if, if you're in service work and you want to help others or you may have um, a parent or a child or a, a spouse or you know someone that you really care about that you're wanting to help how can you really give good supportive um, help to someone else if your foundation isn't strong so it's very important to to really look at that and if you feel those things coming up in your life uh, as to you're making up reasons why you can't do something which pertains to strengthening your foundation where you're stronger within yourself you're more confident you're feeling healthier I mean truly healthy um, you know more energy more vibrancy um, and just more alive in your body and clear in your thinking then uh, my tip today is to is to make that time to question that for yourself and uh, it's not about kicking yourself in the butt it's not about that kind of thing it's not about digging into some you know past that may have been uncomfortable and going well somebody did that to be no 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 it's not about that at all it's recognizing what it is within yourself some feeling some thoughts something um, and that's holding you back from moving forward and building your own personal foundation your body your confidence um, so until next time <laughs> Again, this is Giselle Turi, Tuesday Tips with Tea. If you like this, please um, like it, share it. If you know someone who could benefit from this, I will be doing a series on this topic because I think it's so important. I bumped up uh, on it within my own life. I recognize it. And I find that more and more people are dealing with that, not having a, fa a f um, strong foundation, not feeling worthy is, is basically what it boils down to. Okay. And I know that I love you guys. If you want more tips, articles, delicious recipes, go to www.lovingrawfoods.com. And uh, you can even put your information in there for some free recipe videos. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye.